the world has been shocked by the appearance of a variant that is even more transmissible than the very troublesome Delta variant. First isolated in Southern Africa, it is now dominating in Africa, has taken over in England, and right now as I speak to you in the United States, more and more of the isolates that are being identified and sequenced are of Omicron. So what's the bottom line of what I've been telling you about Omicron? It comprises, compromises the effects of a two-dose vaccine against protection of overall infection, but you still maintain some protection against severe disease. And everything I've showed you about in vitro and clinical studies indicate that boosters are critical in reconstituting protection. Note the extraordinarily larger number of mutations on Omicron, which has made it very difficult in transmissibility, in evasion of immune response, as well as the possibility of pathogenesis. Talk about what it is that makes the Omicron uh, variant uh, so much more contagious uh, and, and, and address how much more contagious it is than Delta. Here is the virus. Right. This little squiggly here is the spike protein. If I blow this up a lot, it looks like this. And this is the part that binds to the receptor in your nasopharynx. When the mutations make this much easier to bind, mm -hmm. then you get a much more transmissible virus. When might we know if Omicron is more lethal than Delta? Unlikely that it's gonna be more severe, possibly it might be less severe. In terms of testing, like at-home testing, rapid testing, there seem to be severe limits on places to find uh, a rapid test, I mean, you can't just walk into CVS now and see them on the, on the shelf. They're kind of hard to come by. Well, that's correct. But if you look at what things were like a year ago, it's infinitely better now than it was, but it's still not where we want it to be. You have to admit that. Right. The government has now put out 10,000 centers that are giving away free tests, have invested $3 billion to make 200 million to 500 million tests available per month. The low dose Pfizer vaccine didn't come back with the, with the best uh, of results. Uh, how close are we to finding an effective vaccine for that two to five year old age group? So the company decided that they believe that this is really a three dose vaccine. And there's no doubt that if you do give three doses, you're gonna get an effective and safe vaccine but they haven't proven it yet. So that's the delay. So that's the reason why I say, we already know that this is gonna be effective, but you've gotta prove it that it's safe and effective at a certain dose. Unfortunately, that is not gonna be taking place until the end of the first quarter of 2022. So instead of getting vaccines for children from six months to four years plus, in the beginning of 2022, it likely will not be for a few months into 2022.